Hey guys, Tyler here. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. More recently, there has been a controversy over the word Christian privilege in our country. And of course, the reaction to this was uh, very mixed. I didn't realize Christians have Christian privilege. All I see is Christians being mocked, persecuted, and murdered for their beliefs. Christian privilege, this may be the most disturbing story you'll read all day. Actually, people getting murdered and raped is probably more disturbing, but uh, let's go on. Just when we thought the idea of white privilege was stupid enough, the left has now coined the term Christian privilege. Newsflash, Christians are the most persecuted religion in the world. This is just sick. In this video, I'll try to argue in favor of Christian privilege. Privilege is defined as a special right, advantage, or immunity granted or available only to a particular person or a group of people. Before I begin this video, I want to say that this video is not an attack on all Christians. I know that not all Christians act a certain way. However, in this video, I'm pointing out the advantages that Christians have in this country. Additionally, this video is an argumentation of Christian privilege in this country. It is not an argumentation of Christian privileges in other country. And as an atheist myself, I see a lot of Christian privilege in this country. For example, if a Christian comes out as a Christian, they don't have to worry about being kicked out from their house for coming out as a Christian or losing their job simply because they're Christians. If a person, for example, comes out as an atheist, they're more likely to get fired from their job, they're more likely to get kicked out from their house, and they're more likely to face social stigmas. Only the atheists in that situation, the Christian, don't have to worry about that shit. Also, at least in the law books, there are at least eight states that ban atheists from running from office. Christians, on the other hand, don't have such laws against them to run in office. Before somebody tells me that the laws about atheists not running for power is obsolete, here's my personal response to that. The fact that they're in a law book at all shows the chilling effect of the religious in power who want to discriminate against atheists. According to data, atheists are the least trusted group in America and about 40% of people in this country will not vote for an atheist. Now before somebody say that merit matter more than religious affiliation, I totally agree with that settlement. That said, I find it really sad and troubling that a large group of people in this country will not vote for somebody just because they don't believe in God. Additionally, if somebody is a politician and comes out as an atheist, to many people, it's political suicide. This kind of nonsense happened not so long ago. According to the leaked emails from the Democratic Convention, it mentioned that politicians that was running against Bernie Sanders wanted to use atheism against him so that he will lose during the elections. Christians, on the other hand, don't have to worry about that kind of nonsense. They can say that they're Christian and run for power. Speaking about government power, many Christians use the government to promote their belief onto other people. For example, there are some states that have the Ten Commandments right near government buildings even though it's illegal. There are some public schools in this country that teach creationism as if it's fact even though, again, is very much illegal in this country. I almost forgot to mention that in the state of Kentucky, they use tax dollars to fund the Noah's Ark theme park, even though, again, we're supposed to have separation of church and state, but apparently they don't really care about that kind of stuff. What's even more insane, besides the fact that this theme park is being funded by tax dollars, is the fact that the steam park discriminates against atheists and non-Christians who want to work for that steam park even though it's funded by tax dollars. In the 1950s, during the Red Scare, Christians in this country took advantage of people being afraid. Instead of e pluribus unum, they replaced it with the motto, and God we trust. Additionally, the Pledge of Allegiance did not mention God at all originally. However, thanks to the scare, they added God to the Pledge of Allegiance. But what about custody? I mean, surely they don't discriminate against custody, right? 
Well, if a person is a Christian, the judge might be more in favor of that Christian taking care of kids than that atheist who want to have custody for that kid. Before I sign off, I want to say to not use this video against Christians. I'm merely making this video to point out the advantages that the Christians have in this country. I believe strongly that we need to judge people case by case on an individual basis. However, I am not going to deny reality either. If you disagree with this video, post a comment or a video response, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.